My name is Cheng. Uh, I'm a six-year PhD student from Robotic Sensor Networks Lab. And today I will present view selection for orchard reconstruction. So high quality reconstruction are useful for scene visualization, robot navigation, and plant phenotyping. However, the challenges are if you're given this aerial footage of an orchard, there are a large number of views from this video. And most of them are redundant, which increase the computation burden for reconstructing this orchard. Therefore, our objective is to select a small subset of views while maintaining high reconstruction quality. So we interpret reconstruction quality as feature uncertainty, where traditional methods do not really reflect the 3D uncertainty accurately. One method used reprojection error, which is in 2D. Another 3D-like representation is Gaussian assumption. However, it's not truly uh, the 3D uncertainty that we are looking at. Therefore, we propose a geometric uncertainty model, uh, which truly reflects the actual uncertainty uh, of a point in 3D, where for pixel uncertainty represented as a disk centered around a particular 2D feature, we extract that in 3D and make it into a call. Right? And then the triangulation error is simply the diameter of the two cones intersection. So using this model, we actually can find a minimal worst case uncertainty for a point. Our theorem states that for a single point, there exists two cameras. We call it the optimal pair, the red ones, viewing this point at 90 degrees will guarantee a particular approximation ratio comparing to infinite many cameras on this plane, on this line, which is a plane in 3D. And this approximation ratio is about 1.03 for 10 pixel error. That's why we call it the optimal pair because it's near optimal uh, approximation. And we extend the solution to a plane where we can select a camera grid with a particular resolution that's proportional to the scene height, which it guarantees a 1.72 approximation ratio comparing to reconstruction quality of infinite many plane cameras on this plane. However, in reality, uh, there are non-planar scenes such as in this orchard, we have trees going up and down. And large viewing angles such as 90 degrees will reduce the matched correctness of the features. Therefore, we propose a multi-resolution camera grid approach where we initially build a triangular mesh of the scene like this. And for each uh, triangle on this mesh, we sample views on the trajectory with different resolution. We increase the sampling resolution. That's why we call this a course to find view selection methods. So it goes as follows. Initially for a triangular mesh, we select a camera grid with resolution height divided by two. And that's a sparse set of views, which covers a, the white regions are a subset of triangles that's been covered by these views. And then we increase the resolution to H divided by four. And thus we have more cameras covering more regions, a triangular meshes on this plane. And at last we have H divided by eight, which has a lot more cameras. Using this method, this course to find multi-resolution approach, we can select a small set of views that covers most of these regions. And here are some results. So on the top, we select 700 views by equally sampling our trajectory uh, every second. And the reconstruction quality is very high. However, it requires a large number of views. And this processing takes about 12 hours on our computer. At the bottom, using our methods, we only extract around 200 views, uh, which takes about an hour to process to make this dense reconstruction. And you can see the reconstruction quality are very similar. So next, we introduce our next work on adaptive view planning for 3D reconstruction. Previous method selects a subset of trajectory along an existing uh, trajectory. However, you can see in this example, a simple zigzag trajectory on the top cannot reconstruct well the bottom of those scenes. These are very low quality. So in order to obtain high fidelity reconstruction, we have to do some active planning for those more complex regions where we need to cover all the regions with good quality. 
we have to efficiently sample the potential green space because they, uh, the views can be selected anywhere. Also, we have to guarantee some trajectory length optimality so that it doesn't deviate too much from the optimal. So to do that, we introduce three criteria that constitutes a good set of views for reconstruction. The first is viewing angle, where if you have the cameras close to each other with small viewing angles, then it's easy to find feature correspondences such as seep, stiff, or surf, but you introduce larger surf. While if you have large viewing angles, it's harder to find feature matches but you introduce smaller uncertainty. So we need a balance here. The viewing distance to the same patch also plays an important role. If you have different viewing distance to the same patch, it will introduce different image resolution, which in turn will find, will make the reconstruction net, uh, methods hard to find correspondences. So we prefer they are viewing the same patch at similar resolution, which means similar distance. At last, we want to guarantee certain correctness. We don't want to match the wrong features. If you only have two cameras, the same patch uh, can, can only be validated by the two cameras and there is no guarantee that's correct match. But if you have more cameras, they can validate each other and guarantee a more accurate feature uh, reconstruction. So using that, we generalize those three, method, uh, three ideas to our methods. So first, we have an initial dense reconstruction from an existing top-down zigzag trajectory. And then those are point clouds. Those point clouds are then translated into triangular meshes uh, to represent surface. And then using those surfaces, we can do a k-mean clustering on the mesh where the clustering means points or surfaces that represents uh, relatively similar planes. So for each of the relatively similar plane, we can build a spewing plane for, for each of the cluster that has equal distance to those uh, regions. And then we can impose a viewing grid of points as a potential viewing selection. So using those potential points on each of the plane, we can plan an efficient trajectory that links all those points so that it guarantees a high quality reconstruction for the resulting uh, scene. So here are some comparisons. On the top, we have the basic simple zigzag trajectory. And then you can see those qualities here are not very high because you do not go close and view them. While for our methods with the same number of views, we can extract the geometric pro property with much better quality. Similarly, in this uh, demo comparison, the top-down trajectory from uh, from a simple trajectory planner cannot reconstruct the bottom of this scene very well, while our methods can actually go down and uh, reconstruct those pipes with very good detail. So that's all. Thank you.